Do you suffer from thalassophobia? Would you like to? Dredge is a nice, peaceful game about fishing and inventory management. You have many types of fish and a beautifully illustrated encyclopedia to put them into. It tells you where the species can be found, what biome and at what time, even if you haven't discovered them yet. Some have different skill minigames, but if you'd rather skip that, you can just AFK or get a troller net or crab cages and just check up on them once in a while. The game is really nice and calm. It shines in both minimalism in textures as well as contrasting detail in splash screens. Although the models seem simple, you can see tiny details such as boxes stacking up on your boat. The weather and other entities all move in real time, but the daytime moves only when you either move or fish. Sometimes you may see fish that look different, but hey, a fish is a fish and as long as it's good for the buyer, it's good for me. One of the first things you're told in this game is, don't go out at night. I say, go at night, see what happens. There are some other fishing boats you may see at night, but surprisingly not at daytime. Hello there. Oh nice, he's coming over. The sea is sometimes scary, and dredge can greatly convey that, to the point I had every fiber of my body contracted when I first came to Gale Cliffs. There are things deep in the unknown, and let me tell you, there is always a bigger fish. Each of the game areas has some weird quirk, and you can learn more about it from the locals. Nice, you can pet the dog and give it to a lonely white woman. Great. NPCs found all over the port have things to tell you. From their stories you might get the gist of what's going on. The game, when introducing the unknown, scary and eldritch monsters straight from the medieval map artwork, is really good at conveying the horror of not being at the top of the food chain. At times it feels a lot like Sunless Sea. I'm glad that the devs didn't put in also food and fuel management and went instead for the simpler and much smoother approach. But Dredge is more than simply saying, hey, fishing is hard and people go insane at sea. It's about loneliness, loss and learning to move on. Some people just leave their problems behind, start a new life and never look back. Some see their mistakes and want to fix them, but need a little extra help. Some cope by focusing on their work to keep their mind off of their problems, but sooner or later this resurface. Some devote their lives to revenge on the world for what happened to them, but what will they have after it's executed? And some just give in to sorrow. And then there is you, fishing. What is your role? And what did you lose that you're so desperately looking for at sea? I really don't want to spoil the story and monsters from other areas, so I'd say, see for yourself. The game is quite short and since it's not early access, I don't expect much more content to come. A DLC would be nice because Dredge places some very interesting objects and story around the world and I'd like to see more. There is some content and quests I would like to continue, but I'm fine with how the things are left now. I had some critique about locking off quests and NPCs, but I'm glad I withheld the review and had time to analyze what was presented to me. I would like to see the dock worker disappear one day after you give him the final package, instead of being how he is. I would like the builder to repair the stairs to the ancient lighthouse at Devil's Spine. I would like to do some detective work 
and find out what is the mayor's connection to the Urs and why he mailed this package. The fur-robed mysterious man could be more than just a timed challenge runs. Same with the giant crabs being just environmental hazards. There is some real nice flavor text hidden in the black rocks and it could be built upon. There is a lot of potential with this game world that could be expanded and I'm kind of sad it's this short. But maybe it's better to leave some things unsaid, some stones unturned and some secrets to stay beneath the waves. What do you think, Smithies? I think women and semen don't mix. We know what you think. Is it worth the money? I wouldn't know, I still... I mean, I'm playing at my friend's house. But at $26, I would say definite yes. Dredge some cash from your mom's purse and sink them into this game. It's the most fun I've had in a video game in years. As I mentioned, it's a bit short for my taste, but on the other hand, in those 10 to 15 hours of content, it delivers more than some games that are spread over 60 or 140. I should have left you on that street corner where you were standing. But you didn't! There is more content on the way. I'm thinking I'll review something older next time, and then something newer. I'll try to stick to this format as close as I can. The next video will probably come out in the summer, and I'll do one every three months or so, unless I'll have more time on my hands. Take care, and happy Easter! Also, remember to subscribe. The best choice for gay people, pirates, assassins and gay pirate assassins.